Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous summer day here in December. Tuesday, December 3rd, 2013 here in the flood ravaged drought plagued wasteland of Austin, Texas. And it was about, uh, I think about an hour ago, I was talking to a friend on the phone and she was asking me, okay, Hamo, what can you possibly think to rant about on this beautiful day? Well, I've got my little wacky conspiracy theory rant, which I'll do separately, but I really didn't have anything. I really didn't have anything to rant about on this absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day. And I should have just left it at that, but no, I had to turn on the mainstream media news as I do every morning, the Yahoo News, uh, which is just a survey of all the uh, mainstream media stuff uh, going on each day. And uh, I'm just going to read you some of the headlines on just uh, an average day on the planet. Tuesday, December 3rd, 2013. This is, this is an average day on the planet. Uh, a gorgeous day, but an average day as this planet uh, goes to hell in a handbasket. And I'm, and I'm just going to, uh, th this is, uh, you know, guys, just a, uh, just a scatter shot. I'm not covering them all. All right. Let's start out as they did. Florida woman injured in bear attack. Okay. <clears throat> Stocks fall on Fed and U.S. consumer spending worries. Stocks headed lower Tuesday as investors continued to worry about the Federal Reserve winding down. Okay. Next. Oil in Kenya faces infrastructure and capacity challenges. Okay. Recent petroleum fines in Kenya's in Kenya have caused excitement, but even if commercial production goes ahead, major challenges remain. Yep, I bet it uh, I bet it does. As long as we're talking about oil in Africa, let's go over to Nigeria. Oil spill coats river and sea near Nigeria oil facility. A large oil spill near Nigeria's brass facility run by ENI oil has spread through the sea and swamps of the oil producing Delta region blah 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 okay here's some volcanoes erupting uh staying here in africa africa's elephants threatened by killings no shit as many as 20 percent of africa's elephants could be killed in the next 10 years if illegal poaching continues yeah right uh, how about one as many as 100 percent of Africa's elephants could be killed in the next 20 years. Let's uh, do the headline like it should be. Oh boy, uh, here's some story about the U.S. environment chief going over there to China to help them de deal with uh, air pollution. Back to Africa, I, will, I guess I'll cover this story tomorrow. In Africa, climate change wages war on bodies, not just lands. They just can't get out of Africa uh, today. It just keeps on coming, the news out of Africa. Here is extra French troops to tackle Central Africa violence. Okay, more than 200 French troops began Monday the hard task of boosting efforts to halt spiraling violence in the troubled Central African Republic. I bet they do. 
and uh, then here's a story shining light on Africa's colonial atrocities there you go here's one that I touched on yesterday about the rising resource wars in the in the ramping up resource wars in the Arctic Putin says Russia needs to beef up its Arctic presence. President Vladimir Putin on Tuesday, two days, said the U.S. Navy's, the U.S. Navy's capability in the Arctic is a key reason for Russia to beef up its presence, meaning its military presence in the region. There you go. Uh, tell, tell me, there, there's nothing to rant about on this, uh, on this average day in the, uh, on the planet. Uh, you, you know, guys, and as I say, I'm just barely, barely scraping the surface. Here's one I, I got a laugh out of. Top Chinese filmmaker admits having multiple children yeah here, here's one here's one uh, for I, I don't know I guess this is the funniest one of all today <clears throat> operator of Japan's Fukushima plant wins rare plays rare praise but hurdles remain okay here is from Good Morning America, Barefoot Taco employee leads top nine grossest fast food moments. The, the grossest thing of all in fast food that happened on this planet was that some employee came to work and took her shoes off when she got there. My guess is that her feet her bare feet were a lot cleaner than her shoes would have been. Uh, if, if this is, uh, anyway, moving along. Uh, let's see, federalism, fuel, and energy policy. Three lingering issues. Uh-huh, I guess those are lingering issues. Oh boy, here we go from Dear Abby. Didn't Dear Abby die like 30 years ago? I, I mean, is she speaking from the grave? Who the hell is this? Anyway, I love the, the Dear Abby story. Woman saddened, woman saddened by wonderful partner who does not want kids. Dear Abby, I am a 38 year old woman who has been dating a 41 year old man for seven months sadly although I have always wanted children he does not so uh, it is 38 year old woman uh, having to break up with this 41 year old man who doesn't want to become a daddy at age 42 you know, here she is. she's made it to 38 without bringing one of these little planet-eating bundles of joy. Good God. Uh, fresh violence pushes Thailand deeper into crisis. Oh boy, from Thailand to Japan. Japan's Yakuza mobsters becoming Goldman Sachs with guns. <laughs> I don't even want to know. Goldman Sachs with guns. There's a, uh, there's a pretty terrifying uh, concept. Let's see. Here's one over Bloomberg's nanny state. From New York to New Jersey controversy over pipeline proposal 
in the pine lands. Okay, uh, that's what's going on in New Jersey. A pipeline through the pine trees. Okay, back to Africa. Islamic militants attack Nigerian Air Force Base. Okay, here in the U.S., U.S. hospital worker sentenced to 39 years for spreading hepatitis. And here's a look at Balkan animal cruelty. From Romania, a litter of puppies wrapped in a blanket and set on fire. A dog roaming the streets with its jaw hacked off. Cats found at the bottom of an apartment block with their spines snapped. Okay, I think I've heard enough news out of Romania. Okay, here's one. Uh, good morning, America. This one says it all. Uh, says it all. Uh, this, this is a rant in a headline. NASA hopes to put a garden on the moon. Okay, moving along from the moon to Detroit. Uh, Detroit to get crucial ruling in bankruptcy case. Uh, D, 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 D. Here is from there to Hong Kong. Here's what you need to know about the bird flu in Hong Kong. All right, here we go. The Paul Walker crash, the subject of my uh, cr of my wacko conspiracy theory. How about this one? Paul Walker crash. Investigators say speed was a factor. Okay, but I'll talk about Paul Walker in a minute. Let's go over there to, I guess, the uh, whole planet. And the name of this uh, article is simply Endangered Species. African ministers and conservationists are meeting in Botswana to chart ways to stamp out a spike in elephant killings fueled by a growing demand for ivory in Asia. Okay. Windows 7 is still growing faster than Windows 8, as it should. Next, PlayStation 4 sales exceed 2.1 million units. 2.1 million PlayStation 4s have been sold in less than three weeks on the market. Okay. Asian nations dominate international test. This is about the dumbing down of America. Teens from Asian nations dominated a global exam given to 15-year-olds while U.S. students showed little improvement and failed to reach the top 20. Nowhere in the top 20 in math, science, or reading. U.S. students have now dropped out of the top 20 in math, science, or reading. Okay, where all this shit about Obamacare, I'm not even going to go uh, there. Here is Porsche. This is a, a real news story. Porsche announces special platinum, platinum edition Cayenne, which is one of their SUVs. Okay, and while Porsche is uh, announcing their new SUV in the news, we go back to Africa where we find UN launches first surveillance drone in the Congo. <clears throat> 
the UN peacekeeping mission in the Democratic Republic of Congo on Tuesday officially launched a surveillance drone. <clears throat> Okay, here's, uh, what is this, a good news, Chicago to crack down on petroleum coke emissions. All right, from there, Chrysler U.S. sales rise 16% in November. Chrysler's U.S. sales rose a surprising 16% last month a sign that the auto industry is on track to beat strong sales numbers from a year ago. Good for the auto industry. Okay, uh, guys, as I say, I'm, I'm hitting about one-fourth of the headlines. And, of course, we, I'm skipping the gay marriage. I'm skipping the fa-la-la fares from Southwest Airlines. Uh, I'm skipping the gay weddings. Here we go. Let's go back to Africa. Let's look in at, at Zimbabwe. Uh, Zimbabwe inmates starving in cash-strapped jails. At least 100 Zimbabwean prisoners have died of hunger and disease this year because the cash-strapped government can only afford one meal a day for inmates, which is probably one meal more per day than it can afford for its, uh, its citizens outside of the jail. It doesn't talk about the thousands of Zimbabweans uh, dying outside of jail. Anyway, from Zimbabwe to Mexico, Mexico finds 64 bodies in mass graves. Okay, here's critical thinking showing up in the mainstream media, huh? Critical thinking hallmark of common core class. Critical thinking showing up in the mainstream media. I love it. Okay. Uh, I'm just moving along. The votes are in. Washington's panda cub named Bow Bow. All right. Uh, this is, there's more gay weddings. Let's see, here is a, from Time Magazine, you cannot be fit and fat. There you go. There's a uh, Time Magazine headline. Let's see, here we go. Let's go back to Kenya. Kenya starts work on $650 million airport expansion. Uh, the second large-scale infrastructure project, it is launched in a week aimed at boosting foreign trade. The other one being, as I mentioned yesterday, a $13.5 billion railroad being paid for by China and you can be sure that this 650 million dollar airport expansion is being paid for by China um, let's see well it just keeps on going here we go Iran needs more nuclear power plants. There you go. Iran's nuclear chief said Sunday that the Islamic Republic needs more nuclear power plants just after it struck a deal regarding its contested nuclear program with world powers. Okay. Um, more stuff on Obamacare. Here we go. Uh, 
over to Europe. Energy groups say European Commission lacks climate ambition. <clears throat> EU policymakers have bowed to industry concerns about the cost of environmental policy without even exploring the potential for deeper emission cuts. Okay. More stuff about Obamacare. Another story about Paul Walker. I'll get to him in a minute. Uh, more about Obamacare. Uh, and here's some stalled peace deal in the Congo. Uh, here's a story about a guy on his way to go deer hunting, hit a mule in the road and died. On his way to go deer hunting, he died crashing his gas sucking car into a mule. Let's see, back to Nigeria. Nigeria imposes 24 hour curfew on the city of Maiduguri after attack. There you go. A 24 hour curfew on leaving your house. Uh, that's the more Obamacare, more Paul Walker news. I'll have that in a minute. Uh, and let's just drop to the bottom the final story on the mainstream media news today from the French news service, AFP. Miley Cyrus back atop global social media chart. All right, American singer Miley Cyrus has come out on top of the star count global social media chart from November 25th to December 1st. Uh, Miley Cyrus in one week gained 500,000 new Instagram, whatever that is, followers, and 300,000 new Facebook fans. So as all of those stories that I just mentioned uh, on the mainstream media were unfolding, Miley Cyrus was getting 300,000 new Facebook fans. And you wonder why uh, American teens are no longer in the top 20 of the planet's uh, scores on, on these, some sort of uh, IQ test in, in math, science, and reading. As, uh, as American teenagers' uh, scores drop out of the top 20, Miley Cyrus gains 300,000 new Fans, but in the same week, I have gained about 10 new subscribers to Humpty Dumpty Tribe. 300,000 to 10. Make your own rants, guys. Uh, I, I could sit here for the next three days ranting about these headlines, but of course, there would be three more. So I am going, since it is Tuesday, I need to talk about a man I had never heard of till three weeks, till three days ago, Paul Walker, for this rant. Bye, guys. <laughs>